All right, in this video, we are going to classify the critical numbers of this function as being local max, local min, or neither. If you haven't watched the previous video about where we came up with this sign diagram, that's the increasing, decreasing problem where we worked all that stuff out. Uh, you need to go back and watch that because uh, otherwise you won't really know where these, uh, where this came from, okay? So in that video, in the previous video, we um, got this um, sine diagram, right, for this uh, function, f of x equals 1 11th x to the 11th minus 1 7th x to the 7th plus 2, okay? And we found the possible critical numbers, put them on the number line, and we classified uh, all the possible critical numbers as uh, we, we figured out which ones of uh, the possible critical numbers were actual critical numbers. So, uh, and it was minus one, zero, and one. In this case, all of them, although that's not always the case. All right, so what we need to do is uh, go back and take a look at each of these critical numbers. All right, so the first one is negative one. Right, so what we do is look at the sine diagram for the derivative, right? And then we see over here to the left of minus one, we, the derivative was positive. That means that the original function, right, was increasing. It was going up, right, as we go from left to right. And then immediately to the right of negative one, we can see that the uh, derivative was negative. That means that the original function started decreasing at that point, okay? Uh, so that means that there is a local high point, right, at uh, negative 1. So uh, in other words, there is a local max at negative 1. All right, our next critical number was 0. And we can see immediately to the left of 0, the, uh, the graph was decreasing, right? And so then it is also decreasing again, right? Immediately to the right of the uh, zero. So it did something like this. So we can see at zero, there's no way that there could be a local high point or a local low point, right? Because there's always, no matter how much you zoom in here, there's gonna be some points on the graph of the original function f that are a little bit bigger than the point at zero and there's going to be some that are a little bit lower than the point at zero. So, um, so there is neither right, a local max nor a local min at zero. All right, and then finally at one, we can see that it was decreasing immediately to the left of one. Then it's going to be increasing, right, because the derivative was positive here. The derivative is positive. That means that the original graph had to be going up, right? And so we can see that would correspond to a local min at 1. All right, so we've classified all the critical numbers as local max, local min, or neither. So. Uh, on the quizzes in my class, that's you know how it's going to look. Um, you're just going to ask, be asked to classify those. Um, on, if you're in somebody else's class, right, they may ask you, or if you're working from a book, uh, they may ask you for the local max values or the local min values. Uh, these would just be the x uh, coordinates, right, of the local max and local min. If they ask for the value, that means that they want the y value. So you would take these x values and plug them in back to the original function to get the uh, values. So if they phrase it that way, that's what they're after.